Hey, hi! Thank you for joining me in this training video. Today, I'm going to share with you about how to install cPanel. My name is David and I hope that you enjoy this training video. So let's get into it. About how to install cPanel. Before I go on further, if you would like to increase your technical knowledge, do follow us in our Facebook page at facebook.com slash readyspace or subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash readyspace. Also, if you are interested, do join us in our LinkedIn page and subscribe to our Telegram channel at t.me slash readyspace. So let me get into about cPanel. So what exactly is cPanel? Now cPanel and WHM is a suite of tools built for Linux operating system that gives you the ability to automate web hosting tasks via a simple graphic user interface. Its goal is to make managing servers and websites easier. There are some benefits of cPanel that you would like to know. In fact, cPanel has been powering websites since about 20 years ago. And millions of websites are running off cPanel. Maybe if you have a website today, it is highly likely that it is already on a cPanel server. So today I'm going to share with you this benefit so that you are able to run your own cPanel server and even provide a service to your customers. Now, cPanel is a very easy to deploy and run software. Just run a server, which I'm going to show you later, and then install cPanel into that server. It has got a very simple graphic user interface with all the functionalities and features so that you do not need to worry about all the complexity by using command lines. Even a novice user of WordPress is able to install WordPress, reset password, manage database through a nice graphic user interface in cPanel using WordPress Toolkit. It is able to run multiple sites within just one server. And also, it is a full-featured web security server that you can use make use of and finally it is not just a web server it is also an email server and a database server to run your web application in it now there are some prerequisites that you will need to know before installing cPanel and here they are first you should sign up a ReadySpace cloud account through our URL here that you can see in the screen, readyspace.com slash sign up if you are not already our member. Then go into the order button, click on cloud server. You will then be able to see and various options of cloud servers available for installing your cPanel server. And within that server, choose to install CentOS 7. At this moment of recording, it is not available in CentOS 8. So do not install CentOS 8. Register a domain name. And that is a very important part of running a cPanel server. And then subscribe to cPanel and WHM license. And these are all readily available in a ready space cloud account. Here are the installation requirements. A clean fresh minimal installation of CentOS 7. Minimum of 1 gig RAM but 2 gig recommended. At least 20 gig of free disk space but 40 gig recommended. A valid cPanel license and finally a standard host name with a full qualified domain name. So the first step is to set up a host name using this command over here. Key in host 
name ctl space set dash host name space your domain name. So in this case, I'm using cpanel.readyspace.com. To check your host name, simply key in host name and then you will see the domain that you have just set. cPanel is written in Perl. So ensure that you have Perl installed on your server. Otherwise, run the command yum space install space Perl to install it in your system. Now, let's start installing cPanel. To install cPanel, there is an auto installer script built for you. However, you need to run curl to install it. So before that, you will need to install curl into your system. To install curl, type yum space install space curl. Then download the latest installer script to your home directory by keying in curl space dash o dash latest dash capital L space https secure downloads.cpanel.net slash latest. Now run the auto installer script. Note that if you have logged in the server using SSH, we strongly recommend running cPanel auto installer script in screen mode because it takes 40 to 60 minutes to complete the installation depending on your server resources and the internet connection speed. Continue to watch this video and take note of each command that is being entered to complete your installation.
Once all is done, you can now access WHM from the URL. Typically, it will be HTTP slash slash your server IP address colon port 2086 port 2086 So, just go to your browser open up your browser and then type in this full IP address with the port and you'll be able to see a login screen like this Key in the administrator root access login and password and from here you will then be able to see the whole interface of cPanel. Follow the instruction on screen. Read through the legal documentation, agree, and then enter the rest of the information that cPanel will require you to enter. We've reached to the end of this training program on how to install cPanel. I hope that it has given you some insights on de and details on how to install it. With it, I'll, please do not hesitate to comment down below in this post. And also, you can reach out to our website and then have a chat with our service team. Till the next one, I hope that you have a nice day. See you.